What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to have a chat about some very, very, very good One Piece news. Some very, very good One Piece news indeed. Because you see, ladies and gentlemen, over in Japan, they've had their big tournaments. And they've had big prizes, and it's been lovely. We haven't. Well, good news, ladies and gentlemen, we've now got the reveal of the Treasure Cup One Piece card game, which is happening from February the 4th to February the 25th of next year. And this is where we start getting very, very, very excited. Now, all of these are going to require pre-registration. So just to go through where they are very, very quickly, over in North America, including Canada, we've got the Niagara Falls... It, it, it's in Canada, right? And it's happening on February the 4th and 5th. There's then one in California on February the 4th. There's one in Miami on February the 11th and 12th. There's one in Texas at Fort Worth on February the 25th. Over in Europe, there's two. There's one in Germany on February the 18th and one in Birmingham in the UK on February the 4th. For anybody that's wondering, yes, I am very much hoping to be attending that one in the UK because it's a big One Piece TCG tournament. That sounds amazing. We've then got one in Chile in Latin America on February the 18th and 19th and one in Australia in Sydney sometime in February to be decided. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, wish I could tell you more. Now, it doesn't say whether this is exhaustive or not, but it does say it's a year-round tournament that offers players the opportunity to compete for special prizes. Join a Treasure Cup event and test your skills. These events require pre-registration and, you know, go on the website, go and have a look. There should be a link to the place to do that. Basically, this is the next step. We've seen the kind of store level tournaments up to now. This is where we get to the bigger level tournaments, better prizes, more people. Sounds awesome. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> um, yeah, they're not everywhere. And the thing is, they could add another 50 of these tournaments and there wouldn't be enough of them. And people would still complain there wasn't one close enough to them. Over in North America, we've got one in Canada. We've got one in California, one in Florida, one in Texas. And for an awful lot of people, that's not going to be enough. And they're going to want more. And they're going to say, where are all the ones in the Midwest, for instance? And that's a fair comment. And all I can tell you is, hopefully, as more happen, there will be more in different places. Hopefully, that's going to be a thing. You've got to bear in mind, there's only certain places where these can be held, and there's all kinds of logistical issues that go into the decision here. And it's probably not because they actually hate you on a personal level or where you live. It's probably just because this is where it is convenient to hold it. I know in the UK, I want them to be south. I want way more south than Birmingham. Birmingham's about a four or five hour trip each way for me. It's not ideal by any stretch of the imagination. But actually, you know what? Yeah, I can live with that. And I know that in the US, for a lot of you, four hours are super, super close. Distances are a bit different. But the whole point is, it's not going to make everybody perfectly happy. But holding these in somewhere like Birmingham makes a lot of sense in the UK. I'm assuming the venues they've chosen in other places make sense for them. So with all of that borne in mind, the format is singles, constructed, best of one, 35 minutes. But Top Cut goes to best of three, 60 minutes. Why are they best of one? Because you're not going to get best of three in a reasonable amount of time. And they don't want the tournaments to take approximately forever. And it really is as simple as that. Especially with a new card game. You know, come February, we're, we're two and a half months. Well, really, by the time the first one's come, it's two months and two days after the release of the game. And you expect most play. Well, everyone's kind of new to this, to be honest with you. It's going to take a while to go through these games. So that's what makes the most amount of sense. The good news is the prizes here look awesome. Now, just for turning up, you get an event pack, volume one, two of. And you get some Don Sleeves. Now, the event pack is an interesting one. Because this is actually the exact same... This is promo pack volume 2 
over in Japan that I just showed you the other day. There is just one major difference between Promo Pack Volume 2 in Japan and Event Pack Volume 1 over here. In Japan, it is a five-card pack featuring one of each of the five promos. Over here, it is a one-card pack featuring one of those cards at random. Which, as far as I'm concerned, isn't quite the same. Uh, feel free to be annoyed about that. Feel free to be a bit upset. But we've all been playing band... Well, I didn't say we all. A bunch of us. A lot of us have been playing Bandai games for a while. And if you've played tournaments with Dragon Ball, or you've played tournaments with Digimon... You will know that one card promo packs are the norm. I will say that promo pack volume one in both Japan and in the West was a five card promo pack where you got one of each of them. Not the case here, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen. In Japan, it's a five card pack, I believe, where you get one of each card. Over here, it is a one card pack where you get one of the four of them at random. One of the five of them at random. Uh, feel free to be annoyed. That's the way it is, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. That's the way it is. But you get two of them for entering. That's quite lovely. And you get the Don Sleeves. That's quite cool. If you get up into top 128, you get another event pack. If you get up into top 64, you get another event pack. You get the storage box. Now, this is the one that was given out when you bought all of the starter decks on Amazon Japan initially. But it has been given out since. And it will probably be given out again. But you also get the alternate art of the starter deck one shopper. Now, people like Tony, Tony Chopper, and this is a one-cost blocker, and sure, it's only got a 1,000 power, blah, blah, blah. It's a one-cost blocker, and it really is as simple as that. That makes it a good card. It's basically, you, you pay one Don, and then you get to have a blocker which is going to stop an attack. Plus, it is stamped with the Treasure Cup one-piece card game, and yeah, top 64 is what you should initially be aiming for. Top 128, you get one extra event pack. Nobody really cares. That's not what you're going for. Top 64, it's not the storage box. It's not the other event pack. It's the chopper. Now, top 32, you get another event pack. At this point, if you make top 32, you've got five event packs. And if you haven't doubled up at any point, then you will have one of each of the five cards. Yay! But really, top 16, you get Usopp, the alternate art, and this is the one from Romance Dawn. Two cost, 3,000 power, counter plus 2,000, and Don X1 on your turn, once per turn, draw a card when your opponent activates an event. It, it's fine, but it's not a particularly good card, but it is top 16, and it is stamped. It's going to be... It's going to be sought after. But top 8 is the real goal here. Top 8 is what everyone should initially be aiming for. Because when you make top 8, you get the alternate art Roano Zoro. And now this is the one from Starter Deck 1, Don X1, Get a Thousand Power. It's not a great card, it's fine. But you also get the serial numbered Luffy. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. The serial numbered Luffy is given to the top 8 players. That's huge. That is absolutely huge. That is a very big deal. Obviously, up to now, they've been given out to, you know, like, winners of these online events. It's given out to the top eight. And you get the Rowan Zoro. Yeah, top, top eight is the goal here. Because, obviously, you've got the other stuff as well. But this is where it gets really good. And then second place, you get a second place playmat. We've not seen that yet. And first place, you get a champion playmat that we've not seen. Four event packs and a booster box. The playmats are cool, don't get me wrong. And those playmats are going to be extremely limited because there's one second place and one champion for each event. And, and they're going to be sought after, don't get me wrong. But it's top eight we're really aiming for here because top eight is where we get ourselves the serial numbered Luffy and the Zoro. And that is pretty gosh darned awesome. I'm excited. I'm going to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm like legit excited for this. So hopefully I can actually make it down to Birmingham. Because that would be cool, ladies and gentlemen. That would be very, very cool. Now there is one other thing that happened at these big tournaments in Japan that we haven't got our treasure cups. And that is the storage box and playmat sets that you can buy. Well, the good news is it has been confirmed that over on Premium Bandai, starting on the 1st of December, you will be able to order either the Monkey to Luffy... Or the Yamato set. And that's kind of cool. 
and it's going to be $40 for the playmat and the storage box. But remember, they are still running that campaign where you can get some free art sleeves if you go and buy on Premium Bandai, which is kind of lovely. Now, here's the thing. The Yamato is the alternate art of the secret rare Yamato from Romance Dawn. It is that artwork whacked on a card that all makes perfect sense. I get it. Here's the thing. When you originally went and got either of these two boxes over in Japan, at these tournaments, no matter which one you bought, whether it was Luffy or Yamato, you would get yourself the alternate art Luffy. Where's that? It's just not coming. That was given out of the championship series when you bought either of these sets. It is a reprint of the one from Promo 1. But yeah, it, it's just not there. Which is weird to me. This seems easy. Just whack it in with them like you did in Japan. So that's a bit of a weird one to me. But no, you don't get the promo card. Or I suppose to put it more accurately, there is nothing on the website that says you do. So you should assume for the moment that you don't. There we go. Either way, we've been waiting for these bigger tournaments to start, bigger attendances, bigger venues, in person, better prizes. I'm excited. And frankly, ladies and gentlemen, might I suggest that maybe you should be too? So go nuts in the comment section, would you? But be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about One Piece and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel. You can get some bonus podcasts where I answer all of your questions and join a Discord where we have a chat about stuff. It is very, very fun. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching What's He Plays.